If I can take it, I can make it. If you can take it, you can make it. If you can just keep believing when nothing in you is working, when all your external forces have given way, if you can just manage to somehow keep hoping, you have a chance. You just can't become hopeless. If you can just keep hope alive, you can make it. Because if you keep hoping, it is really faith. You just gotta transpose it into, I hope this happened, to I believe this can happen. Life is like a grindstone. It can polish you or it can pulverize you, depending on how you position yourself. There's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it. Do I just sit there and settle? No, I don't. I say enough's enough, man, and I'm gonna make a change and I'm gonna keep going until I get it. You chase something that you believe you deserve until you get it. And it doesn't matter what happens to you. It doesn't matter how many times you've been fired. It doesn't matter how many people don't believe in you. you. Just go until you get it. Say it and actually mean it. Look in the mirror every fucking day and say, yeah, I'm proud of you. I believe in you. You can do anything you want. You are powerful. You say, if it's hard, then do it hard. I won't allow this to stop me. I don't have the option of easy. I don't have the option. And I don't think you do or any of us do. I'm going around trying to find a dream. That's a little dream that doesn't require much responsibility or not too stressful. It won't be too much of a hassle. No, no, no. All you need to do to get out in the arena of life is to say it's possible. In spite of the nose, yes, maybe this next call might do. It's possible this next job interview, this might be the one. I can do this. Every day you wake up, you gotta start with that vision. You gonna get up, you gonna get dressed, you gonna get out, and you gonna do what you've been called to do. And you gonna prove to everybody that tried to break you, everybody that tried to stop you, everybody that tried to kill your dream, you gonna prove all of them wrong. You've got to say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about what I've done. I can make it. And you gotta believe even if there's no reason to believe. When everything appeared to be going wrong, you're working on your dreams, and somebody that you love and trust decide to walk out on you, you still got to believe. When you see those things that you've been working on crumble in your face, you still got to believe. When friends who should be a source of strength and encouragement, relatives who should be there to inspire you and motivate you and tell you, you can't do it, you still got to believe. With no money in your pocket and many times more month left at the end of the month than after your money, you don't know how you're going to make it, you know your paycheck's long before you get it, you still got to believe. I don't care what it takes. I don't care how many speeches I have to give, how many seminars I have to give. I know I ain't got the money. I know I don't have the education, but I ain't gonna let that stop me. I'm gonna do it. And no matter what you're going through, as long as you still have breath in your body, as long as you're still alive, you're still in the game. Because anytime you wake up and you don't have a white chalk outline around your body, it's a great day. If I just stand long enough, I can pull this off. I can do it. I'm putting it out here. I'm not going to rest until I have it. It's necessary. I'm going to do it. It's on me. No one's going to make it happen for me. I get some help and assistance, but I know that it's on me. Will it be easy? No, it's going to be hard. But it doesn't matter what it costs. Because whatever you have to do, it's worth it because it's your life's purpose. And once you know that, it is done. It's possible you can live your dream. And if life's got you backed up, you can't quit. You can't give up. You can't stop. You fail a class, get back up and try again. You lose a job, get back up and try again. You put all your money in investment, get back and try again. If you start a business and it don't work, don't stop, don't quit. You will study as long as it takes. You won't go to sleep until you have the knowledge that it takes to do what you're able to do. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. If you do what is easy, complain about your situation and circumstances. Stand around and be a volunteer victim like everybody else. Surrender and give up on your dreams. Become depressed and bitter and angry. Anybody can do that. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, keep coming back again and again and again. Get up dressed every day, knowing some way, somehow, with a spirit of expectation, I can do this. If you do that over and over and over again, your life will be easy. 
Everybody know what to do when everything goes right. Everybody know to show up and give everything they got when the sun shines. Everybody, when they get what they want, they're gonna come and they're gonna be great. But it's very few people that reach deep down and got the character that in the midst of opposition, in the midst of a challenge, to look at it with the right perspective and not only look at it with the right perspective, process it the right way and figure out a way to use it. What is it that will make it worth it for you? When you want to give up and things are working against you to face the rejections, what is it that will make it worth it for you to brainstorm and not be intimidated and say, I can do this. What is it that will make it worth it for you to make know your vitamin that you become empowered by it? What is it that will make it worth it for you to raise the bar on yourself and say, I got some more stuff in me when you want to keep driving past the office because of the stress? What is it that will help you get back up again? Some of us choose to stay down, but it's that motherfucker who constantly gets up as fast as they can, those are the motherfuckers that make it in life. All you do is you fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again. That's how you win. You've got to activate the thinker in you. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotion. If you don't discipline and contain your emotions, they will use you. You want to monitor your inner conversations, the things that you say to yourself. You want to watch them, and in watching them, you want to take charge. Oh, you really don't feel like it. You really don't need to do it. Forget all that. That's that inner conversation. Oh, you don't need to worry about trying to go into your own business. Forget that. You can't do that. What if you lose everything you've got? That inner conversation that stop you from doing the things you want to do less, don't do that. Forget all that. And then I said, shut up. You'll get scared sometimes. Your mind will go blank on you. You've got to learn to stand up to yourself inside yourself. And short circuit, override that conversation that's always going on. 85% of what that conversation will tell you is negative. It will tell you you're tired when you really are not tight. It will tell you you can't do it. It will fill you with fear. So you've got to watch that conversation. And when you find it going on, you've got to stand up to it and say, I'm going to do this anyhow. I'm afraid, but I'm afraid not to do it. And I'm not going to let you stop me. You got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up. Some people you will allow to unnerve you. You can't do this. You don't have everything it takes. I shut up. I have got to do it. That's why you've got to learn to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to stand up inside yourself, working on yourself, watching that inner dialogue. It will determine the quality of your life. The biggest challenge that you will have in life is you. Because there's no enemy within. The enemy outside can do us no harm. You've got to sell yourself every day on your abilities, on what you're doing, on the goal that you want to reach. You're bombarded with negative stuff every day that beats you down and you will find yourself unconsciously engaged in self-destructive behavior. If you don't program yourself, life will program you. Don't complain. Don't talk negative. Average people use their time to complain. Average people talk problems. The greats talk solutions. Live your life with passion, with some drive. Decide that you're going to push yourself. You want to live life with energy and passion. You want to be happy. You got a lot to be thankful for. Most people won't do that. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful? There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. You got to get this beast mode. Everything about you has to say, I ain't playing. If it's to have, I'm going to get it. And I ain't leaving none of it behind. It's my beast mode. If you want to get your butt out to bed, right from sunup to sundown, you can have the life that other people dream of. You can experience enough pain in life. You can experience enough disappointment in life that he can clobber you to the ground and kick dirt in your face and you believe you can't do it. You believe that this is it for you. No, it's not. So many people out there fail, not because they don't have the ability. It's because they don't have the heart to go through adversity. 
The question is, can you manage your conflict and still seize your destiny? Because if you're waiting for it to end, you will never get anywhere. But most people spend their life not wanting to deal with the pain of rejection, the pain of defeat, the pain of being disappointed, the pain of losing, the pain of failure, the pain of being criticized, the pain of not being liked, the pain, the pain, the pain. That's called life. Life is full of pain. There's no gain without pain. Now, if you're going to hurt anyhow, get some yardage out of it. Get something from it. You're already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. You're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And you've got to clear your mind of all the unnecessary luggage and baggage that's weighing us down. And let it go. Your life depends on it. Your future depends on it. Your destiny depends on it. Your miracle depends on it. Everything depends on your ability to let it go. If you hold on to stuff, you choke. If you release stuff, you can keep breathing. Life is going to hand you something every day. Take in what you can get out of it. Let go of what you can't get out of it. But don't let anybody hurt you so bad that you suck. Life going to whip your butt. Life is going to bully you. Stop whining. Stop crying. Nobody cares. Be demanding. Let it hit you. But don't let it punk you. This is not an opposition. This is an opportunity! I don't care if you've been beaten to the floor, if your legs are too tired to lift that weight. Break through that barrier and create new ones for you and for others to show off. Get back up and live life. Whoever stays down is a loser and winners who fail and get up. Fail and get up. You always get up. That is a winner. It's a guy that's willing to get knocked down, finally tells it on fortune, stand back up, stand back up. The perseverance to see it through, the never say die attitude. But if I don't win, I showed up, I gave my valid effort. And tomorrow I'll do the same thing, and I'll continue to throw shit against the wall. Every time I get knocked down, I will get back up, and I will succeed. I will not surrender. The moments that take your breath away are the ones that count. You need the downs to make the ups. You need the ups to create the downs. You need to feel the opposites to truly understand the full reality of the life you are living. You can dream of these things, but understand you can also achieve them. You got to make it happen or it's not going to happen. You got to get up off your hind parts and bust a move or nothing is going to happen in your life. Faith of any kind always comes by hearing you didn't believe you were dumb till you heard you were dumb you didn't believe you couldn't learn till you heard somebody say you couldn't learn your unbelief is a result of something you heard about yourself and the more you heard it and rehearsed it and even argued about it and said you didn't believe it every time you face a challenge tell me the truth don't those voices come back up every time you hit a low place don't those voices come back up again and you will never completely be healed or whole until you change the voice inside of your own head and no Nobody can do this but you. The moment you raise your hand and says, I'm going to do something, I can guarantee you that somebody's not going to agree with what you're going to do. Somebody's not going to be supportive of what you're trying to do. Somebody's going to try to assassinate what you're trying to do. And yet you have to have the commitment and the calling and the tenacity and the character to be able to withstand the onslaught that comes against you in order to proceed toward your destiny and toward your purpose. You've had bad experience after bad experience after bad experience after bad experience. You tried to talk yourself out of wanting it, talk yourself out of believing, tried to fit in with the people around you, blend into the scenery, just act like everybody else and be cool and maybe they'll like you. But the problem is there's a burning desire down inside of you that will not shut up, that will not die. Do I just sit there and settle? No, I don't. I say enough's enough, man, and I'm going to make a change, and I'm going to keep going until I get it. You chase something that you believe you deserve until you get it. 
And it doesn't matter what happens to you. It doesn't matter how many times you get fired. It doesn't matter how many people don't believe in you. You just go until you get it. You got to believe this for yourself. You got to believe I can do this. I was created for this. I was called for this. I was curved for this. I was shaped for this. I was meant for this. Wouldn't it be amazing if you believed that? Wouldn't you sleep good tonight if you believed that? Wouldn't you walk around with your head up and your back straight if you believed that? You wouldn't be intimidated by anybody, anywhere, at any time if you just believed that. Say it and actually mean it. Look in the mirror every f***ing day and say, yeah, I'm proud of you. I believe in you. You can do anything you want. You are powerful. You say, if it's hard, then do it hard. I won't allow this to stop me. I don't have the option of easy. I don't have the option. And I don't think you do or any of us do. I'm going around trying to find a dream. That's a little dream that doesn't require much responsibility or not too stressful. It won't be too much of a hassle. No, no, no. All you need to do to get out of the arena of life is to say, it's in spite of the nose, it's maybe this next call might do. It's possible this next job interview, this might be the one. I can do this. Why'd you get up out of the bed this morning? Because this might be the day. Why did you put in another application? Because this might be the day. I can't stay home today. This might be the day. I can't give up right now. This might be the day. I can't slack back now. This might be the day. Every voice that said you'll never be nothing, you got to call it out. You're a liar. Every time something whispers in your ear and says you can't make it through this, you can't take this, you're gonna have a nervous breakdown, you're gonna lose your mind, you're gonna die like your mama did, you're gonna get sick like your daddy did, you gotta talk back to those voices and say, hey, you a liar, you lied on me, I'm better than this. You need to abort every voice that said you can't do it, you can't have it, you can't be it, you'll never get up, you'll never survive, abort that thing, push it out! I've got to get out of here, even if I have to fight my way out, I've got to get out, I've got too much vision to stay in this war. Every day you wake up, you gotta start with that vision. You gonna get up, you gonna get dressed, you gonna get out, and you gonna do what you've been called to do. And you gonna prove to everybody that tried to break you, everybody that tried to stop you, everybody that tried to kill your dream, you gonna prove all of them wrong. There are many people who have the limitations in their minds, who have lost that fire in their eyes, who because of the experiences of life, and said, no, I can't do that. A lot of people never try anything differently because they have been convinced by people in their lives that they can't do it. They're living within the context of the opinions that other people have of them, the low expectations. Many people doubt themselves because when they thought about doing something at some critical point in their lives, somebody they respected and honored, someone they trusted said, you can't do that and they accepted that. People's opinion of you is none of your business, nor should you make it yours. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. It's not what they say about you that matters. It is what you say about you that threatens your destiny. You will never be defeated by what they say about you. You will be defeated by what you say about you. What would your life be like if you decided not to care what people thought of you? What would your life be like if you decided to give up some of your fears? What would your life be like if you decided to become courageous? So if you're at a place in your life and you ain't happy with it, you have to change some things, but you have to make a conscientious decision that you're going to change. And it's not dependent on anybody else. It don't matter what your mama think. It don't matter what your coworkers think. It don't matter what your siblings think. It don't matter what your children think. It don't matter. They have nothing to do with it. This decision is yours and yours alone. Ridicule is the price of iconic. You are going to divorce yourself from the crowd. You are going to be met by the naysayers, the critics. They are going to laugh at you. Your job is to fortify your interior core. 
where it doesn't matter if people call you crazy. Your success in any level creates an opportunity for envy. The only way to avoid it is to stay down. If you lay dead, even the animals won't bite you. The risk of being bitten is the cost of getting up. A few of you know what it is to have something to so scald you, so burn you, so beat you, so pulverize you, that your fight goes out of you. And you're so scattered and so broken and so fragmented that you don't even know whether you could ever live again or whether you will ever smile again or whether you will ever live to fight another day or whether you'll be able to pull yourself together just to fake a smile for a few minutes in front of people to say, I'm doing okay, knowing you're lying on the inside. I'm talking about going through so much that something inside of you dies and you wonder, can I get back up again? In that moment when life comes at you the fucking hardest, you will panic and you will forget who the fuck you are. Success will taste stressful because your opportunities come wrapped in opposition. Opportunity comes in chaos. It is good to be uncomfortable. I've never met anybody who was terribly creative or gifted or strong in leadership who was also comfortable. Those exceptional people who are uncomfortable with the times and rise to the challenge because they refuse to allow the chaos around them to determine the conqueror within them. People who resist the toe to go down and stand fiercely in spite of opposition and say, I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care what it is. I don't care how many times you've had to cry yourself to sleep. I don't care how difficult it is. Don't you dare give up now. Because whatever is over you defines you. And whatever defines you limits you. You better put some strength in your back, plant your feet, square your shoulders, and stand up to it. Don't you dare sit down. Don't you dare crumble under the weight of it. Don't you dare give in because of the nature of it. Don't you dare go home and raise the white flag of surrender. This is not your season to die. This is not your season to quit. There's joy, there's peace, there's breakthrough, but you'll never see it if you don't stand up to it. I'm not trying to veer to the left or veer to the right or gradually get it together. I'm getting ready to do something so radical and so massive. I'm going to turn the whole thing 180 degrees. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. I will break you. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You can't take me. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. It's going to be a dog fight. You can contain it for a while, but you cannot stop this. You can't stop it. You've been through so much hell. You won't quit now. Don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. I've been broken so much. I've been defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life. But I know what it feels like, and I can handle it. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Once you get to that point, you cannot be broken anymore. Go get your doggone stuff, and don't let nobody tell you no. Don't run from the chaos. Stand still and let the chaos run from you. You're going to go through many storms where your life is going to be hard. And it'll seem unbearable at times. There are types of storms. There are emotional storms where you're worried. Something that you hope won't happen or something that has already happen. With emotional storms, you can find yourself stressed out. In an emotional storm, you can find yourself depressed, mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence that you have gone through. The state of this world can have you in a state of confusion and, and a heavy cloud over your life. 
It's very depressing. A storm is going to come. I don't care who you are. No one is exempt. It's called life, ladies and gentlemen. So how do you handle it when you're in the storm? You must have faith. You must have the faith to call forth those things that be not as though they were. The strength and the courage to make it through, the enduring power, the ability to persevere, to handle it, it will pad you. The inner power to overcome, to come back again. So in order to begin to prepare for the storm, you've got to go within and start working on yourself. You've got to get grounded. You've got to train your mind to serve you. Meditation is one of the ways in which you can do that. Reading is one of the ways that you can do that. Listening to music is one of the ways that you can do that. Exercise is one of the ways in which you can do that. Things that you can do to still your mind, to clear your thoughts so you can think. I had a program for myself. I have books that I read that inspire me, tapes that I listen to that fire me up. Because you're going to have sometimes low moments when you won't want to get out of bed. You just want to stay there. At times you won't want to come out the house. At times you'll be feeling bad and don't know why. What's wrong? I don't know. Just leave me alone. The first tendency is to panic. When they said, your mother has breast cancer. I panic immediately. I start grieving and crying. I fell out of God's own God. I can't handle this. I never thought this day would come. I can't deal with this pain. You got to talk to yourself sometimes. You hear me? You got to talk to yourself. And yes, I was scared. Leslie, get up. Get up, Leslie, get up. Come on, man. It's easy to have faith when mama's got her health and all is well. Come on, get up and come in the house. She needs us now. Come on, be a man. Come on in this room and face it. Be still. Know that all is well. To pull this through. And I made up my mind. I don't care what it takes. I don't care how many speeches I have to give, how many seminars I have to give. I know I ain't got the money. I know I don't have the education. But I ain't going to let that stop me. I'm going to do it. And yes, it's going to be hard, it's going to be difficult, and you get more no's than you do yes. But when you hold out, things will begin to happen. You won't even understand how. See, what the storm does, ladies and gentlemen, it empowers you. It strengthens you. When you go through a storm, when you come through that kind of experience and able to reclaim your life, you come back with a certain kind of power, and you'll never be the same again after that experience. There are certain things, when you go through those things, and you come up out of those things, you come up a different kind of person, different spirit, different power, different energy that builds character. Don't ever say when you're going through some rough time, I'm going through a really bad, tragic time. No. So I'm going through a character building experience. Tough times never last, but tough people do. You should take pride in wanting to quit and not quitting. Hey, it's really hard right now, dude. You're really struggling right now. But here's the thing. Right now is when everybody else quits. Right now is when everybody else is going to fall behind. Right now is when everybody else decides to do something that's easier or faster or not as hard. And that's what gets you ahead. That's what gets you to have pride. Because those struggles, those feelings, those things that are difficult, they are there to test you. This pain, this conflict, this tragedy, this tribulation is the test. Don't fail it. Stay strong. Don't ever quit. Struggle is a privilege. Hardship is a privilege because those struggles, those hardships, those things that you face will turn you into an unstoppable motherfucking machine. So if you want to create super high confidence, super high self-esteem, super high momentum, that feeling I'm super powerful, I'm invincible, I'm the fucking man or I'm the fucking woman, you have to take pride in not quitting when other people are going to quit. You have to take pride in executing your job to the very best of your ability when everything around you is going wrong. That's what gets you out of the storm. You can't just focus on this moment. You've got to hold the vision. Hold the vision of things improving. Hold the vision of your health coming back. Hold the vision of being financially independent and debt free. Hold the vision of your relationships working out. Hold the vision of everything being all right because it'll give you power, give you strength, give you faith, give you patience, give you perseverance. It'll give you the ability to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. And when you discipline your emotions and you don't allow them to control you, 
When you tell yourself, I'm in charge here, I set the course for my life, these storms that I face, they do not have power over me. When you declare that to yourself, the limits for you become non-existent. If you can believe it, you can receive it. If you can conceive it, you can attain it. The most powerful tool that you have right now in your life, in your body, is your mind. That's why the enemy fights you in your mind. He fights you in your mind. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. The devil doesn't have to tie you up for you to be bound. He just has to tie up your head with stress, with worry, with aggravation, with low self-esteem, with pettiness, with anger, with hostility, with rebellion. And he can make you physically sick because your mind is sick. You just have to get your mind out of trouble. Lay your hands on your head and say, give me a new mind. Give me a new mind means give me a new perspective. Give me a new perspective. Give me a new way of looking at my situation. Give me a new way of looking at my circumstances. Get my mind ready for this year because when I get this year, there's going to be blessings. There's going to be miracles. There's going to be opportunities. Oh yes, it's going to be some struggles. It's going to be some challenges. It's going to be some tests. But even the struggles are an opportunity for me to show off the victory if my mind can handle the change. If you can get your mind out, you can get your money out. You can get your family out. You can get your job out. You can get your career out. You can get your health out. You can get your prosperity out. If you can get your mind out, no devil in hell, no weapon formed against you, no enemy that hates you can stop you from being free. Grab yourself by the head and say, we're coming out of this. How do you hang in there during the hard, difficult times, Les? You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas, unquestionably. You've got to have faith, and that faith gives you patience. You've got to keep moving and keep plugging away. You've got to love it. It's got to be what you are supposed to do. You want to sing, and even though they won't invite you to Carnegie Hall, you're going to sing to anybody that listen to you, including sing it to yourself. you got to write, even if no one published your book, write, because that was given to you to do. You do what it is you're supposed to. You're supposed to build something. You're supposed to create something. I don't know how to do it. Learn. Do whatever is required. Go into action with your dream. And don't avoid where the fights are. Get in the midst of the fight. Get knocked down so you can learn how to fight, so you can hold your position. Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're going to stand up for something you want. Stand up for what you believe in because you can fall for anything. So what I say to you, that you are powerful. You have miracle working power in your life right now. But you've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out. Selling yourself on you and on your potentials. And you've got to know that you are worth all of your effort. And that the key to your motivation as you get a larger vision of yourself is to know that you have something to give. Is to know that you have a reason for being in the universe at this point in time. Take that leap of faith, trust yourself, and believe that everything is going to be all right. You are not where you're supposed to be because of you. It's all you. You tell yourself lies, reasons. I'm too tired, I need to rest. I'm too hungry, I'm too full. Something else is more important. I don't have time. Lies, 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 lies. People ask where discipline comes from. I tell them it comes from within. But there's a deeper level. Discipline comes from the truth, the framework of discipline. And if you lie to yourself, you will not find discipline. The truth is that you know. You know you could do more. You know you could be more. That's what's driving you crazy. All your excuses are lies. The truth 
will set you free. The truth delivers discipline. But the truth is, you have time. You have the skill. You have the knowledge and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. Don't really want to work out? I work out. Don't really want to hammer on a project? I hammer on a project. Don't really want to get up and get out of bed? I get up and get out of bed. Don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that down. Do not listen. Instead, go through the motions. Lift the weights. Sprint the hill. Work on the projects. Get out of bed. Anybody can do the sh** they want to do when they feel like doing. Anybody could show up to work and give 100% when they're in the mood to do so. But what happens on the days that you don't feel like killing? What happens on the days you don't feel like going to the gym? What happens on the days that you don't feel like getting out of bed? Because those are the f***ing days that are going to define where you end up in your life. Nobody wakes up in the morning every day of their life fired up. The reason I'm successful is because I execute whether I have the f***ing fire or whether I don't have the f***ing fire. And that's discipline. That's discipline to do the sh** that you don't want to do because you know it needs to be f***ing done. You do something away from the normality of what you've been doing. Why not try it, man? Shock the system. Get up at 4 in the f***ing morning one day. Just one day. And go for a f***ing run. Commit to one day and see how you feel as you're jogging it back in around 5 or something as your neighbor is still asleep. Well, your day's already provided something for you. Mentally, you'll feel like, wow, man, that was a f***ing lie. When everybody else says, no, this is not comfortable, we shouldn't do this, you say, yes, motherfucker, I'm going to introduce myself to it. When we talk about regret, I can one thousand percent guarantee you that how you feel about your life at the end of your time here is going to come down to your ability to cultivate discipline it's going to come down to you developing the ability to do the things that you don't feel like doing because you know that it's the right thing to f***ing do because we are what we repeatedly do every day therefore excellence is not an accident but a habit it's a visceral it's in us every single day the people that are top movie stars over and over and over again that's not uh, lucky it's training to win it to earn it over and over again you gotta do your best work when you're the least motivated so those days you don't want to do it guess what you gotta do you gotta suck it the fuck up and do it nobody is void of a pit at some moment just because you're in a pit does not mean it's over you keep standing no matter how rough the sea, you keep standing. No matter what you don't give up. Because I got to keep moving. Even though everything in me wants to just lay down and quit. You can't read somebody else's book about some theory on how to do sh Some guy who sat up in their nice warm office and wrote some book with a nice cup of coffee in the f***ing hand. No, I want to see that guy who immersed himself in f***ing hell. And he thought about quitting and leaving and his wife and his kids and why am I here? Is it worth it? All this crazy shit and found out a way to get through it. Because in the worst of f***ing times, you are alone. You must get your f***ing self out of the f***ing sewer. No one's coming in the f***ing sewer to get you. It's your brain. You are the only person that can pull yourself out. It's those people who are able to control that feeling of flight and say, no, nah, I'm a f***ing. There's a way through this. There's always a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. For every situation you confront, there is a strategy that will bring you out. The only thing that's going to make you happy is to step up. It's to raise the standard. It's to discover what you're capable of and feel that incredible power pushing through whatever's holding you back and get to the other side of more of your true self. I don't care if you have to inch your way day by day. And it hurts, and nobody can see what you're really going through. If you don't quit, the pit will become your platform. I'm telling somebody right now, your lowest moment will be the place of your greatest testimony.
You got more than you think. You can do more than you think. You can go further than you think. You can have more than you think. And stop blaming somebody else over what you don't have. It's time for you to know what you got in your hand. If you take a minute and look at your life, every time you're about to step into new territory, all hell breaks loose and sends a storm to stop you from getting there. The situation that you're dealing with right now will come to pass. It will come to pass. It came to pass. Get over it. Don't worry about it. Don't build a house in it. It will not last. You will still be standing there telling your children, I remember the time. I thought I was going to die, but some kind of way we made it out of that. This will come to pass. When you step into your fears and continue to push yourself to go on, it will enable you to transcend yourself. I lost a lot of stuff. I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of strength. I lost a lot of time. I lost a lot of money, but I was still believing. Down on my knees, I was still believing. Broke, I was believing. Lonely, I was believing. Betrayed, I was still believing. You gotta toughen up, and you gotta stand still, and you gotta gird up the loins of your mind, and you gotta take a defensive stand against the enemy, against the spirit of give up, against the spirit of human reasoning, and you gotta stand there and protect and preserve your heart and those unborn things that are inside of your spirit. You gotta fight to protect them. A few of you know what it is to have something to so scald you, so burn you, so beat you, so pulverize you that your fight goes out of you. And you're so scattered and so broken and so fragmented that you don't even know whether you could ever live again or whether you will ever smile again or whether you will ever live to fight another day or whether you'll be able to pull yourself together just to fake a smile for a few minutes in front of people to say, I'm doing okay, knowing you're lying on the inside. I'm talking about going through so much that something inside of you dies and you wonder, can I get back up again? In that moment when life comes at you the fucking hardest, you will panic and you will forget who the fuck you are. Success will taste stressful because your opportunities come wrapped in opposition. Opportunity comes in chaos. It is good to be uncomfortable. I've never met anybody who was terribly creative or gifted or strong in leadership who was also comfortable. Those exceptional people who are uncomfortable with the times and rise to the challenge because they refuse to allow the chaos around them to determine the conqueror within them. People who resist the toe to go down and stand fiercely in spite of opposition and say, I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care what it is. I don't care how many times you've had to cry yourself to sleep. I don't care how difficult it is. Don't you dare give up now. Because whatever is over you defines you. And whatever defines you limits you. You better put some strength in your back, plant your feet, square your shoulders, and stand up to it. Don't you dare sit down. Don't you dare crumble under the weight of it. Don't you dare give in because of the nature of it. Don't you dare go home and raise the white flag of surrender. This is not your season to die. This is not your season to quit. There's joy, there's peace, there's breakthrough, but you'll never see it if you don't stand up to it. I'm not trying to veer to the left or veer to the right or gradually get it together. I'm getting ready to do something so radical and so massive. I'm going to turn the whole thing 180 degrees. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. I will break you. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You can't take me. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. It's going to be a dog fight. 
You can contain it for a while, but you cannot stop this. You can't stop it. You've been through so much hell. You won't quit now. Don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. I've been broken so much. I've been defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life. But I know what it feels like. I can handle it. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Once you get to that point, you cannot be broken anymore. Go get your doggone stuff. And don't let nobody tell you no. Don't run from the chaos. Stand still and let the chaos run from you. There are many people who have the limitations in their minds, who have lost that fire in their eyes, who because of the experiences of life have said, no, I can't do that. A lot of people never try anything differently because they have been convinced by people in their lives that they can't do it. They're living within the context of the opinions that other people have of them, the low expectations. Many people doubt themselves because when they thought about doing something at some critical point in their lives, somebody they respected and honored, someone they trusted said, you can't do that. And they accepted that. People's opinion of you is none of your business, nor should you make it yours. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. It's not what they say about you that matters. It is what you say about you that threatens your destiny. You will never be defeated by what they say about you. You will be defeated by what you say about you. What would your life be like if you decided not to care what people thought of you. What would your life be like if you decided to give up some of your fears? What would your life be like if you decided to become courageous? So if you're at a place in your life and you ain't happy with it, you have to change some things. But you have to make a conscientious decision that you're going to change. And it's not dependent on anybody else. It don't matter what your mama think. It don't matter what your co-workers think. It don't matter what your siblings think. It don't matter what your children think. It don't matter. They have nothing to do with it. This decision is yours and yours alone. Ridicule is the price of iconic. You are going to divorce yourself from the crowd. You are going to be met by the naysayers, the critics. They are going to laugh at you. Your job is to fortify your interior core where it doesn't matter if people call you crazy. Your success in any level creates an opportunity for envy. The only way to avoid it is to stay down. If you lay dead, even the animals won't bite you. The risk of being bitten is the cost of getting up. All your excuses are lies. Little lies that you think makes life easier, but they don't. Now I know in the morning, you got that blanket giving you a warm hug. And you got the, the pillow, which is whispering in your ear, telling you it's okay. Telling you to stay just a little longer. But don't listen to them. They're lying to you. Listen to your alarm clock, which is telling you to get up and get some. Listen to the weight room, the pull-up bar, which is telling you to face reality. And listen to your will, which is telling you to get up and crush everything, regardless of how you feel. Don't negotiate with weakness. Kill it. See, in life, you can go through life, you can come up with reasons or you can come up with results. You can come up with excuses or you can come up with achievements. You can go through life blaming or you can come up with solutions. The choice is in your hands, satisfaction or despair. We can choose that. 
You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after it every daggone day. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do now. My new norm is you get up every fucking morning at four o'clock and you suffer. That became my new fucking life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how minuscule the movement is, but make movement, move forward, and do that every single day, no matter what. You aren't getting any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it. Today, you can't just say you want it. You can't watch the video and say, I want it as bad as I want to breathe. It's true to say it. But when it's showtime, when the sun comes up, you got all the books, you got all the tapes, you got all the access. Now it's time to hunt. And what separates you from everybody else is that when it's time to hunt, you ready to hunt. Everybody wants to prize, but nobody loves the process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. Your expectations are never supposed to exceed your effort. But a lot of people, they wish, and they're not willing to work. And the great thing about life, life has a funny way of testing all of us and seeing how bad we really want what it is that we say we want. When you work for something, it gives you a different type of attachment to it. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. That's why cats can give up so easy. They ain't got nothing invested. But when a cat work for something, like when a cat been sacrificed for something, well, you're going to have a cold day in hell before you take it from them. Write down one or two things that you're going to commit to doing every single day, no matter what. You're going to use that motivation to become a machine every single day, no matter what. You don't think about it. When you have built a habit, it's ingrained in your nervous system in such a way that the brain doesn't even have to consider whether or not it'll get done. It just gets done because you committed. Commit once to the thing that you're going to do, and then you do it every single day. That is what transforms you. It's not the grand visions, it's the tiny actions that move towards a worthy ideal. The good feelings in your body is an indication that there's something that you want. Now you get to work by doing it every single day. When you want to do something great with your life, something that is beyond those visions other people around you see for themselves, they're gonna try to tear you down. They'll tell you, you can't do it. You don't have what it takes. You're just a dreamer. People that don't have any dreams for themselves, they tend to be dream killers. Their family and friends and loved ones, in most cases, they will be the first to try and talk you out of your dreams, your visions and ideas. They will say, who wants you when you put on all that weight? Who wants you when you're looking like this? and been through this and been through that. Nobody's interested in you. Nobody's checking for you. They'll laugh at you. They'll call you names because they have no dreams. They have no hunger for success. They don't have an appetite. They don't want it. But I want to remind you to continue to dream and dream big. When they fight against you and your dreams of the future, that hurts. They won't see it like you do but they don't have to, only you do. You're the only one who has to see it for yourself. I wanna win so bad, my hunger and appetite for success is intimidating. It scares the shit out of people. And people around me say, slow down, stop. You're doing too much, your appetite is too big. I can't help myself, I wanna win. Don't let these opinions of other people pull you off course. How do you do that? You ignore and outwork each and every one of them. You see, while they watch you and talk shit about you, you put in more effort, you work diligently, you focus on taking things to the next level. They'll keep spreading rumors and you will keep working. They'll keep talking negatively and you will keep working. They'll keep focusing on everything and everyone else and you'll keep working. 
And when they finally take a look around at their lives and compare it to yours, they'll come to the realization that they have absolutely no valid reasons to criticize anymore. And they will be the ones to lose while you will be the one to succeed. I will not be outworked. You may be smarter, you may be faster, you may be better than me in nine different categories, but you will never work harder than me. I will make my dreams come true. I don't care what it takes, I'll pay whatever price is required. Only those that can see the invisible can do what seems to be impossible. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas that God has sent you. You gotta grind and hustle. You're gonna even have the doubt, the spirit of doubt is gonna kick in. And you're gonna say, why did I move out here? Everybody laughed at me. Everybody was looking at me like, man, you crazy as a mom. You just gonna leave your city, the comfortability of your house, your family, your environment, all your friends, your loved one to go seek a dream and seek something that you're passionate about? Absolutely. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me because I've made a different kind of commitment with my life. This is something I have got to do. Because it's very easy to become your environment. It's very easy to become duplicates of the mediocre and average people surrounding you. So wake up every day and decide that you love yourself enough to commit yourself to you. If you concern yourself with what everyone else is doing and how everyone else feels about the things you're pursuing, you'll never get anything done. So you gotta focus on yourself. You've gotta focus on your dream, on your vision, on what it is you want in your life. You're supposed to live your life, focus on your intentions and do your thing. All the people that are living on the top have all decided that I'm gonna commit myself to this career, this vision, this goal, training, education, no parties. They're gonna call you names. They're gonna say you're corny. They're gonna call you a square. They're gonna say that you're a weirdo because you don't fuck with nobody. Those are the characteristics of a champion. Those are the characteristics of someone that have said that I have decided that I'm going to create a shift in this universe. If you look at documentaries on Steve Jobs and Oprah and all of the above, they are weird because they've seen things that no one else seen for their career path. They are living beyond what is expected because they were obedient to the vision. When you get to the point where you do the work consistently, you invest in yourself consistently, you make sacrifices consistently when everybody else is slacking off, when everybody's partying, when everybody's making excuses you will dominate every single person you're up against and your limits become non-existent the bigger your dream is the harder to grind you might have small beginnings you might not have a lot of money you might not have a lot of resources but there's no excuse and I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is the earlier you're gonna have to get up the longer you're gonna have to stay up the more effort you're gonna have to put in you know how hard I worked to get here I put in too many hours I sweat too much blood, too much tears. I worked hard to get here. Didn't nobody give me this. I didn't grow up with wealth. Didn't nobody pay me. I worked for this. Sweat, blood, tears. I earn every dime I get. I work for this. You will not outwork me because your height has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your face has nothing to do with my work ethic. You will not outwork me. You got to kill. What's gonna separate you from everybody else? I do things to separate myself from everybody else. The passion that I have, the grind that I have when I do what I do. I got a different motor. I got a different grind. I'm always gonna give it my 110%. That's the only thing I can ever say a solid day's work. If you guys do not do that, I promise you, your life will haunt you for the rest of your days. From today on, you play whatever your best game is, you play that level every single time. It doesn't mean you're gonna score every time, but you can always give 120% effort. You can't dictate what kind of game you're gonna have. You can't dictate how your body is gonna respond to moving around, but you can dictate your effort. Your dream comes when you push. And I'm not about to give you no cookies and ice cream. Push. It's alive. It's inside. How do you know you feel it? You dream about it. You eat and sleep it every day. So push. Just push past the plate. Push. Don't quit. Push.
When you push your way to success, you have a chance to control your destiny. All of us are created equal. Some of us just work harder. Some of us just grind. Some of us don't make excuses. Some of us don't give up and give in. What we do with the pressure is we say, I got to take it, and I got to take it to another level. Many of you have lost your competitive edge. Get your competitive edge back. Act like you're playing basketball. Act like you're playing football. Go in that doggone classroom. Compete. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. You're giving 50. And you won't with these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears. You won't what they pay for, and it ain't free. You might be bigger than me. You might be faster than me. You might be stronger than me. But you will not outwork me. You get a breakthrough when you fight. That's the hardest part. Part because the breakthrough, that last 10%, is all mental toughness. It's time to unwrap the potential you can be. It's within you. And the people that have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just they believed it and they were willing to work their fucking ass off to get it. It wasn't about the potential. It wasn't about the genetics. It was about the perseverance. And it was about being the hardest fucking worker in the room.